Hi everybody, welcome back. So last video I have shown the ball placement um, of the O201 and O402 components. Um, but then this time I want to show the improvement I have done on the nozzle tip changer. So this one, as, uh, as you can see, um, now they are very solid. They have uh, provided enough force for the, um, basically the nozzle tip to go in and out. And in my previous design, I do the Lego style, but then when you apply force, it will be a tilted back, which uh, makes it uh, uh, not so easy to get to the position uh, when we're trying to switch the no nozzle tip. So um, basically what I have done is um, I have made, a, I actually made the improvement on, the, on this part. And you can see here, I actually put in a, um, a stripe and that actually give the, um, give the force to stay in place. So basically I make it uh, like a two components here, like this. So whenever the nozzle tip goes back and there's a force to bend and basically it will press this down and make it more um, like um, firm together. So by this, it actually provides the the resistance when it's going to um, you know to prevent it from the tilting like this. So with this um, um, improvement, it's now very stable to um, do the actually uh, to place the nozzle tip. You see here. And it's very also very easy to um, do the uh, to mount it on and also take it apart, take it off. And it's also easy to uh, print. So I make it um, uh, as the design that you can print from from the back all the way to the top, but then um, without any support needed. So this is um, basically when I have in mind when I design every part. So basically every part of here. You don't need to add support. Um, you can just directly print. print. Um, so in order to show you, you see so many uh, uh, nozzle tips here. In order to show you the uh, nozzle tip switch, I will then um, let it switch uh, once. Once again, just, uh, I will show you. So again, this need to uh, home first. So I will do the homing first. You can see it's um, it's moving to the home and we'll do the fiducia, home fiducia calibration. And that's because I also wanted to uh, be accurate when I switch in different nozzle tips. Okay, so now it's homed properly, which is good. So now I'm gonna switch the nozzle tip. As you can see, it has already a um, uh, 0201 uh, nozzle tip on top. So I will lower down the, the camera so that it's easier to, to observe. It has been lowered down and this is the 0201 component. I will gonna mount uh, the other one besides it. I can do the amount, so you see it will then go to the position and then do the amount and you can actually then mount uh, the other one so and you can also get it back and you can mount actually the 3D printed one which is this one so it's actually Compatible, so you can use the same nozzle tip to mount uh, all the different ones. And then, for example, like if you need a bigger one, uh, like this, 0805, you can also mount it. So basically, because, because of the improved force, improved force on this one on this nozzle tip uh, change station it's quite stable and then it's actually uh, make it stable also to switch different nozzle tips 
So yeah, this is one of the improvement. Um, if you have any any thoughts, other thoughts, just uh, uh, let me know. And from what I can measure, this is a twenty two by twenty two millimeter, uh, a twenty two by twenty two centimeter three D printer plate, and it can support one, two, three, four, five, five by two, which is ten different size of nozzles. And I think that um, uh, should be enough for um, usual job that you you are going to do. Um, okay, yeah, that's about it and um, thanks very much if you like my video please subscribe to support and uh, see you in next videos cheers